Well, you haven't seen this in a while. I have two videos that I need to work on. Well, several, because I've filmed so much. But I need to catch you up with what's been going on because I've been gone for two weeks, give or take, and uh, a lot has happened. So we're gonna start it off with my favorite activity. Here's shit in your eye. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do my usual blathering on and talking about everything I've done. I'm just gonna show you a quick little clip show of what's been happening in the past two weeks. And then I'll get into a little bit of explanation at the end. And then I need to work on another monkey in the wild video of which I have a lot, a good time, but we'll get back to that. So as I said before on the last video, that I had decided that I was going to go all in on being a bird photographer, a wildlife photographer, and that's where I was going to be taking this. However, comma, that is going to be its own little series within my channel because I have found that since I said I was going to do that and I wasn't sort of filming day to day shit, it, it messed with me because I like filming myself every day. It was the whole point of all this, of documenting my life. So I'm going to continue to do that. Still not going to get a video every day but I'm gonna continue to do my normal, like boring dumb monkey shit vlog. And then I'm also going to be doing a monkey in the wild, which is all about the wildlife and, and birding and all that stuff. So that's where we are. Okay, enough explanation. Here's what's been going on the past two weeks. Enjoy. Okay, kids, so that most certainly was not all-inclusive of everything that happened over the two weeks. Prior to going to Chicago, I knew that I had like one good day before I had to leave. I and mean, like good day, I mean weather-wise. It was a gorgeous day out. It was like in the mid-60s, slate breeze. It was perfect. So I knew I had to get everything out of the Forerunner because when I came back from Chicago, it was supposed to be rainy and shitty, and I did not want to have to be trying to uninstall stuff in the rain. So Sunday, I took everything out of that Forerunner, and, and I'm embarrassed at how much shit was in there. I pulled everything out except for the camera system. It's asshole insurance. I want to make sure that I have proof that I'm not the asshole when there's an accident. And I left the power inverter in there because that was a lot more involved. And then I took it to a car wash place, and I had it like scrubbed inside and out because it was pretty filthy. Then I had to pack and get ready to go. Monday morning, I had to leave around a little bit before five to get to the airport on time so that I was there early enough because I don't know how crazy they are about that. So I started having stress dreams. I couldn't sleep. So I woke up at four, got everything ready, got myself ready to go, got to the airport, flew to the conference. The conference started at noon that day, got through the conference, unfortunately, the last day we were done at like 12, 1230, I only had one flight that I could choose from. There was literally only one choice. So that's the one I had to take. It did not leave until 824 that night. By the time they got us to the airport on the shuttles, it was like two and my flight wasn't leaving until 830. So I had six and a half hours at Chicago Air Hair with my thumb up my butt waiting for my flight. Didn't get in until like 1130-ish. Then I was wide awake because here's the time change that I went through. I went to Chicago, so back an hour. Came back to Virginia Beach, forward an hour. And then that weekend, daylight savings, forward another hour. So I've been completely hosed with sleep and knowing what damn time it is or what day it is and I haven't been able to sleep. So I've been waking up in between five and six every day. That paid off though, because I did go to Pleasure House Point one morning. It wasn't even eight o'clock. I'm still shocked at how many birds there were. It was crazy. It was like, I didn't even know like where to turn the camera because there were so many of them. But that's a monkey in the wild video. Once I got home from Chicago, the next day, it was raining. 
So I'm glad I got all that shit done, but I still had to uninstall the camera system and the power inverter. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. By the time I got everything out, I was already, I was about 10, 15 minutes late for my appraisal appointment for the Forerunner. I had ordered the new truck from their Roanoke location and figuring that it would be here by the time I got back from Chicago. Long story short, I was there from 2.30 until about 6.00 and got the new truck. There was just that one thing that I wanted to have in it. Because I said, if I'm gonna get a truck, it's probably gonna be the last truck I'm gonna get. I want what I want, finally, and it had to have air-conditioned seats, or what they call ventilated seats. It's basically air-conditioned on your ass and your back. And I, as much as I'm schwitzing driving around in my suit for work and all that kind of crap, I wanted air-conditioned seats. I knew I was gonna put the, the spray in bed liner. I knew I had to get a snow cover. I knew I had to get step-up bars. And then I added the, the bullet point mounts for the camera and the phone. And since I took that picture, I added a third arm that's all the way to the left and kind of rearranged stuff so that there's another arm for a cell phone if someone's in the truck, like my wife or whatever, and she wants to put it up there and charge it. I love this truck. It, it is everything I've ever wanted. In, in a vehicle, especially in a truck. I'm still waiting on the ram mount base that goes under, like bolts into the bolts of the, of the passenger chair and then has the, the little column so that I can put my tablet in there. Not sure if I'm gonna keep it in there. I'm kind of enjoying the clean look and she's enjoying not hitting her knee on it. So we'll see if I keep that or not. Other than all that truck stuff, I also worked in the garage because I still had one plastic piece of shit shelving units in there and it was driving me crazy because it just keeps leaning more and more. So I got another shelf unit this weekend, not a gigantic 2000 pounder like I did with the other ones. It's a smaller shelf, broke down the other plastic one, took that to Goodwill, and then I also got better containers. The garage is organized. The truck is practically done. All my photography shit is taken care of. I'm still, obviously I'm wired from the lack of sleep and the change in time and, and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And in between there, I've done a lot of day job work and stuff around the house and this, that, and the other thing. That's why I haven't posted anything for over two weeks. That, I'm gonna stop right now because you can see I'm wired. I'm doing laundry now because it's, you know, laundry day and, and day job, office day and all that kind of crap. And, uh, and I need to eat and meh, meh. So crazy monkey time as usual. So that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.